today we're going to talk some more about measurement. You've done a variety of different kinds of measurement. You've measured the lengths of things, you've measured angles, but today I was thinking I would like to measure a surface. So I want to think about how we could measure a surface. And I'm going to, I've got a material here to help us. This is the yellow area material. And I've got a, some rectangles here. You see that? And I've got here the base of my rectangle and the height of my rectangle. And if we wanted to measure the base, we could count. It's kind of marked out for us here, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could also count the height, but I want to measure the whole surface of this rectangle. So I wonder if maybe if these little tick marks, if we drew those lines out a little bit more, that would help me be able to measure, have something to count for the whole surface. Well, that didn't really help, did it? I just have smaller rectangles to deal with here. All right, well, maybe if we draw out our marks from the base, that'll help us uh, and give us something to count to be able to measure. Let's see, does that help us at all? No, we still have more rectangles to count. What if we drew lines from both all the way across the entire rectangle? Does that help us to be able to measure the surface? Could we count? What is it made? It's made squares. And we could count across and determine how many squares make up this space. And that would give us a measurement. Shall we take a look at that? So how do you want to count all of these? Do you want to skip count? Let's figure out how many we have. You're right, we have 50 square units. So let's write that down. That is 50 square units. So this measurement of the surface of a, a shape is called finding the area. We just measured the area of this rectangle. Now, do you notice we use these squares to measure? Can you think of another shape that would help us measure? A triangle? Well, it wouldn't quite fit so easily. No, a circle? No, really squares are just perfect for measuring a surface like this because they are the same uh, length on every side. So we, we can just think about that one length we can, and know that it's filling that space. So squares are useful for measuring area. I wonder if you'd like to find the area of some other things in the classroom, or we could draw some rectangles on some graph paper that has all those squares in place and you could find the area of those rectangles. We know that we had, we have 10 units here along the bottom for our base. and 10 and five units for our height. Now, if we wanted to find the area of this, we could count all those squares, but is there something else we might be able to do? What if we multiplied 10 units times five units? That equals 50, and we can do units squared like this. 
since it is the square units we're talking about, we can use our square symbol. So this is a more efficient way to find the area of a rectangle. I wonder if you could do this with more.